I recently spoke with one of our favorite local ER doctors, Louis Perfetta, to get some spring break travel advice. Here's what he had to say. You know, I think if you've been vaccinated and you've had a period of about 10 days after that second vaccine dose, I think you're fine to travel. Um, if you've had antibodies, if you've had a COVID-19 uh, uh, infection and you have proven antibodies, I think there's you're probably reasonably safe to travel too. But I'll tell you, if you're maybe over the age of 50, if you're obese, if you have comorbidities, you're going to get sick. And um, I wouldn't travel. Despite that warning, that's not stopping a whole lot of Hoosiers from making plans. A popular spot for many, you know, Florida. What do you need to know if you're rolling the dice and you're heading south? Joining me live from Sedona, Arizona, Christopher Elliott, a Washington Post columnist and chief advocacy officer of Elliott.org. Good morning. Thanks for getting up early with us. Good morning. My pleasure. Yeah, you heard what the doctor said. I know there was a report that came out last week that the White House is considering now, or they were, imposing that domestic travel restrictions. It sounds like that's not going to happen. What are you hearing? Yeah, not yet. That's right. The government was considering a domestic travel restriction. That would have applied to places, especially like Florida and California, popular spring break destinations. They backed off from that, but it's still on the table. We just don't know. It could happen if those dangerous variants prove to be very dangerous. They might do that. Yeah, that is that um, thing that a lot of people are talking about, the variants and people afraid that come this spring, we're going to start to see a spike. Um, like you said, it probably won't happen for spring break. But what do you want folks to know? I know you're planning a trip. Um, why are you going? And then what do you tell people? Right, I'm planning to, to go to Florida. My lease runs out here in Sedona, mm -hmm. so I, I have to move. Um, I actually, if I could have avoided travel, I would have. The CDC still says avoid travel if possible. And they don't, uh, unlike the doctor, they don't distinguish between your age group or your mm -hmm. risk factors. They just say, stay put. Now that could be changing in the next couple of weeks. People are doing whatever they're going to want to do. I mean, yeah. uh, there's a, a lot of pent up demand for travel. So folks have been waiting a whole year to take a spring break, break vacation. I can't blame them for wanting to go. No, um, any, if you go online right now and you look to see what's happening between Indianapolis and let's say Fort Myers, Orlando, um, you know, in March, we have a sold out flights galore. I've spoken to, you know, real estate agents and beyond down there. Uh, rental properties, houses are booked solid in places like Marco Island, hotels um, not too far behind. How booked are you seeing Florida to be right now at the end of March? It's very booked. Uh, I'm going to be in Orlando mid-March, and uh, I, I didn't have a lot of problems getting a hotel room, but for vacation rentals, it really is booked very solid. There's a lot of demand for vacation rentals. They're perceived to be a little bit safer than hotels because you have that private space, you have your own kitchen, you don't have to mingle with other guests. So I would expect that to continue into April. But then if you want to go to a place like Florida in May, that's really a great time. I think demand will die down. So if you can postpone your spring break vacation, I would try to do that maybe. You have 30 seconds left. What's your last piece of advice that maybe I wouldn't know to ask you? <laughs> oh boy. Um, what I would say is expect the unexpected right now. You know, the government has been talking about further restrictions, maybe a, a domestic testing requirement for flying. Anything could happen, so be prepared for anything. Christopher Elliott, we appreciate it so much. Um, I hope you get down to Orlando and find a place to safely stay. We'll see you next time.